Well, SpaceX has raced to the moon and Mars getting even closer. Workers just added another important piece to that Starship launch pad at Kennedy Space Center. News 6's James Barbero takes a closer look at the progress. After stacking the first segment earlier this summer, the Starship launch pad is now taller than pad 39A. SpaceX working to top off the tower while closing in on Starship's first orbital flight. That launch is currently expected at SpaceX's facilities in Texas, but later, Elon Musk says, Kennedy Space Center will be home base for the reusable rocket system designed to make life multi-planetary. <laughs> Musk this month updating his followers a successful orbital flight could happen as soon as September or take as long as another year, as SpaceX still has regulatory hurdles to clear to get its launch license. At nearly 400 feet, Starship is taller well, and will be much possible. more powerful than even the space launch system, NASA's most powerful rocket ever. Twice the thrust of NASA's SLS. And when finished, Starship's tower could be close to the height of NASA's vehicle assembly building. SLS is inside right now, with NASA planning its mega rocket's first launch on the 29th. Later, Starship will be used as the lunar lander for NASA's Artemis III mission, returning American astronauts to the moon for the first time since the Apollo program and with competition in space from a new world power. The Chinese are breathing down our throats. They want to get to the South Pole, the moon faster. So seeing that launch complex going up on LC-39, that's encouraging to all of us. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news six.